Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video to show you a little bit of gameplay in the game so you can see what it's like. So here I am in one of the realms. Okay, this is uh, one of the levels that we have designed in here. Now you'll start out in here and as I've explained before that the game's in two parts. The first part is where they, the kids will spend most of their time playing the game, uh, exploring, fighting monsters, leveling up, getting crystals, finding gold, um, and things like that. Math Village is where they will regenerate their health and their magic, mostly their magic, though. And that's where they can um, answer the math questions. They can master topics to be able to hold more magic and things like that. But here's how the gameplay works. So you start out, and there's a tutorial, but I've skipped that because it takes a little bit to get through. Um, you start out in one of these realms, and you it's a top-down adventure, so you get to click around. So you left click to move, then you can right click to attack monsters. See, so here's a monster that's attacking and you can see that as I'm shooting my magic, you can see that this bar down here with the little um, lightning bolt, it goes down because it uses up my magic. Now uh, you can also see that when I got hit the heart or my health that went down as well. Okay, so that's one of the things that you have in here. Um, at, so you'll run around the levels and play. They're, they're very big levels. Just to give you an idea, I can kind of run around and show you just kind of how big they can get. Uh, we've created them fairly large on purpose so that there's a lot of exploring for the kids to do. Um, there's also tons of different options that they have to go about um, finding different uh, treasure chests and things like that. So let's just let's just go up here. Okay, so there's more monsters, and as as I monster see as I fight the monsters, you'll notice that uh, some monsters shoot, some monsters don't, some monsters are hand to hand. Um, you'll notice that as I beat them, you'll notice that at the bottom the ex it says you gain ninety five experience points. Now they didn't drop anything, so. Maybe this next guy will drop a crystal or two because I'm I want to get some crystals. Now I got to be careful because he's going to be hitting me here. So so this is kind of uh, a little bit of a preview of kind of what you what you do in the game. So you can run around the explore. There's tons of different places. If you use the scroll wheel, it mo lets you zoom in if in case you wanted to zoom in. And there's a pretty strong monster right there, so I'm actually not going to fight that one right now. Okay, now I got a speed potion. These speed potions help you speed around, run around a lot faster. Okay, so this is just a small idea of what it is. After you after you play the game for a little, you're going to realize that just like right now, you look at my magic, I've got 10 out of 100, so I don't really have enough. So I press the T key. We'll have a little menu for that as well. But you press the T key and that teleports you into the math village. Now inside the math village, you can choose from any one of the grade levels to to answer the math questions. OK, so here's the beginning of the math village. Now, some of this is going to change because we haven't finalized it. Obviously, these will be portals and, and really cool looking things to, to go to. These are like shortcuts to get to each grade. The, the math, the math village itself is actually rather massive and so we had to put these portals in in order to make it um easier to to go to each of the grade levels so there's in this inside the math village there's people to talk to you can purchase things that's that's upcoming um you'll purchase dragon pets help fight with you but now i need to regenerate my magic so let's just let's just go into grade one okay so here's grade one all right, so there's you'll notice that right here along, let's see, talk to her. Oh, first, welcome to first grade. So right along here, there's tons of different games that we can choose from. They're math, they're little math quizzes. So for example, we can go under compare two digit numbers. We can go to G1, count to 120. So let's go to, let's go, let's go to this one. So you run into it, and as you run into it, then it, then it gives you. Uh, questions. You'll notice that there's 10 questions here. And if you get them all right, you master that topic. And so the amount of magic you can hold is bigger. 
So that means you can play more in the realm. So the more, so it helps, it helps with a lot of the kids, especially in second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. It helps them to be able to go back to previous grades and review all the math that they would have learned. So 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So we'll choose that one. Okay, how many circles are in here? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And a lot of these we're, we're having, a, we're putting in videos to help with all of these so they will know exactly how to answer these questions. So it's not, so they're not going to come in here, you know, not knowing what to do. Anyway, there's, there's questions you can answer in here. I don't know if you get it wrong. Oops, I hit a, miskeyed it. Okay, so anyway, you can get it wrong, you can get it right. And, as you get it right, though, let me show you as you get it right here. So how many circles are there? So one, two, three, four, five by one, two. So 25 plus 20 is going to be 45. So look in the bottom left. You'll see the heart symbol and the the lightning symbol. See how I got it correctly? And then it gave me more magic. So it's regenerating my math or my magic. So that that is just one, a quick little intro to the thing to the game itself once it teleports you back to math village this is where you can go back and hit the t key and you can go back into the realms and go back and explore and fight monsters and level up as you level up you uh, will be able to go to new realms that we have uh, currently we're going to have a uh, i believe 10 we currently have nine so there will be 10 different realms where you can explore, fight monsters and things like that. And so we've come back in right where we left off. We're going to come back in, go around again. Anyway, there's anyway, there's a ton there's a ton to do. So so that's just a brief intro to the Math Village. So I hope you or I'm sorry, that's a brief intro into the gameplay. So I hope you enjoyed this. All right, thanks. We'll talk to you later.